Zdravím všechny příznivce hry Kingdom Come Deliverance. Dneska chci dělat kol s krejčím ambrožem. Tak uvidíme, jak se to zadaří. Musím si promluvit s jeho paní, která je v obchodě. What do you want from me now? Johanka sent me. She asked me to help you with your trouble. She did? That's wonderful. But she said she'd come herself. Well, she's up to her ears in work. And besides, we figured your husband wouldn't pay much attention to a woman, since he doesn't even listen to you. Hmm, I'm afraid that's true. What now, though? Well, Johanka thought it would help. If Ambrose saw how playing dice was no good either for himself or for you. Ha! <laughs> I've been telling him off about it for years to no avail. I even took his dice several times. But he always gets new ones. You won't get anywhere telling him off. Ambrose has to realize it for himself. If he lost everything he has to me, that would teach him a lesson. And then I'd talk to him man to man. Oh, God, no. I want him to stop playing, not to lose the roof over our heads. No, don't worry. Whatever I win from him, I'll give it back to you. But first, he really has to believe he's lost everything. Do you swear, by the Virgin Mary, to give everything back? I swear I'll give back every last groschen, as the Virgin Mary is my witness. Very well, then. If you think it'll help, take him for everything he has. Where can I find Ambrose? He's not here now. He's getting ready for a trip to Kutenberg on some business or other. No doubt you'll find him at the inn. Uh, you'd better hurry if you want to catch him. He said he wants to leave soon. Do you think he'll want to play with me? Well, he promised not long ago he'd quit. But I'll believe it when I see it. He'll keep playing, especially when he's had a drink or two. And if he's feeling lucky, he'll lose his head entirely and play till the early hours. All right. Thanks for the advice. Goodbye. Tak, šereme najít kryčiu ambroše. Říkala, že je v hostinci, no tak můžu zkusit hospodu na náměstí, ale to asi nebude hostinec. Tak, podívám se tam. Mám to po cestě. Tady to na krejčího nevypadá. Půjdeme teda nahoru do hostince. Pojedeme. Ten kůň je, jo. Thank you. 
Tak, co, který pak to je? Tenhle. Well, well, Goodman Ambrose. Yes. Is there something I can do for you? I heard you were about to leave for Kuttenberg. Hi. So Sebastian von Berg ordered new clothes and he won't settle for anything but the best. Call I have me. to go and buy some fine linen, brocade and other things. I'm taking 600 groschen to pay for it all. I'll make him the finest like garments the ever. Ah, I all see. Right. Well, Sir Sebastian's a man who doesn't like to be disappointed. True indeed. I'll be on my way just as soon as the horse is shod and the wagon hitched up. To je hezký. Ale já s ním mám hrát. Good god, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? Let's have a drink together to pass the time while you're waiting, eh? On me. That's kind of you, lad. Goodbye. Good health. May it serve you. You look like a fellow who has been around. Tell me, what's going on in the countryside? Are the roads safe? Tak aby ste ho pořádně opili, musíte mu hodně dlouho povídat, takže je třeba tohle všechno projít. Oh, it's safer in the province now. There was a pack of enemy cutthroats holed up in Pribislavitz, north of Talmberg. Mercenaries, bandits, cumans, another rabble. But we attack them and smash them to pieces. So yes, the roads are safer now. My word. And who led the attack? I did. The bold Henry of Scalitz. Let's have a drink to my bravery. Well now, I had no idea I was sitting here with such a warrior. A toast to your bravery. Bravery it was, I cannot deny. Not one of them could match me in combat. Ha! <laughs> Let's drink to my sword fighting skill. To your incomparable skill, Master Swordsman. I rained a barrage of blows on the enemy's heads. To my strength and speed. Aye, aye, to your fast, powerful arm. But first I had to track down their lair. So, let's drink to my cunning, too. Is that so? Then you have the cunning of a fox. I think I overdid it a bit. But there was a band of brigands on the rampage in the province. They attacked the stud farm at Neuhof, killed old Smill, the owner, and torched the stables. So it's true then. I heard some talk about it, but I thought it was exaggerated. Hmm. Maybe I should take an escort with me. No, not to worry. Fortunately, I caught up with those bastards and put a stop to their pillaging. That's good news indeed. Let's drink to your accomplishment. It was no easy matter, I can tell you. They were cleverly holed up, but they weren't smart enough for me. Ha! To my wits! Ha <laughs> ha! To your wits! Sigismund's hordes attacked Scalitz, raised the castle, pillaged the whole area, and slaughtered a lot of people. I heard, lad. I heard. God have mercy on those poor souls. But a lot more people would have died if I hadn't warned them. I took an arrow in the leg, but I still rode on to Talmberg to alert them there. Well done. I toast your determination. And another thing we can drink to. That wound still hurts. We can drink to that. Yes, to your wound. May those bastards burn in hell. May they burn in hell. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, that was a close thing. Oh, I'd better watch it. Did you hear what happened in Merhayed? No. What happened there? 
Some bandits attack the locals. God have mercy. It seems that's the lot of decent folk on this earth. Some fucker thinks he can take what he wants by the sword, and there's damn little you can do about it. Ah, but the villagers weren't such an easy mark. They stood up to them and put up a fight. They even managed to take one captive. <laughs> Good on them. That's what those bastards deserve. But then there was an outbreak of some pestilence and, uh, well, it didn't end well. There's no escaping fate, is there? If some murdering bastard's axe doesn't get you, the plague will. Let's drink to those brave souls in Merhoyed. Aye, to their courage. And may God have mercy on them, but they didn't deserve such a fate. May they rest in peace. Amen. So, you're going to Kuttenberg, eh? That's right. That's nice. I've never been there. What's it like? Ah, it's great, lad. Grand it is. Kuttenberg is a big town with strong walls and more churches than you count on your fingers. Even the king himself has a palace there and it's packed with people. When there's a fair, the whole town is on its feet. You've never seen the like. But the city elders are troubled now. Sigismund and his army are camped near the town. And nothing good can come of that. The devil take that damn Sigismund! He's done damage enough here already! My word, lad! What's got into you? I'm from Scalis. Sigismund's army laid waste to the place. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. That must have been awful. Awful hardly describes it. I'd tell you about it, but first I'd have to drink. A lot. Then let's drink! I asked myself, Ambrose, I ask myself, why are we here? In the savin? Well, where else can a man find some culture in these bars? No, 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 no. I meant more like in the tavern. But why now? No, why, why, why here? Why here? Because I was waiting here before Kuttenberg. Something like that. And why? Well, you came and started this whatever. But why did I do it? Was there a reason? Is there... Is there a plan? A God's plan? Ah, the difference is this. Did you come here of your own free will? Or did you have a feeling you had to? Or the world would stop turning? No, I always have this really weird feeling. Like the whole world is just standing still, watching and waiting what I'll do before doing anything. Nobody as much as lifts a finger until I do. I used to have the same feeling when I was younger. It passed, though. Oh, but it makes me feel all uneasy and jittery, like you know, some, some jittery thing. And if I don't do something, then it stays the same. Everything stays the same. Nothing changes. I know what I help you, lad. There's nothing to it. It's easy. It's... What was it? Ah, yes! Booze. Let's drink. I won't drink. I won't be forced. But as it is, the world does what it wants with me and there's nothing I can do about it. And I was... Ah, actually, fuck it. 
It can't get any worse. Let's fucking drink. Those are the words of a man. Good health. Why can't the force together? Ever. Tak a místo toho, abych s tím hrál kosky, já ho zkusím okrást, tam teda bude to těžký. You'll have to prize these dice from my cold, dead hand. Cílem. Vlastně vůbec nebylo cílem ho brát v kostkách, ale prostě musel brát i prachy. Takže počkáme do rána, půjdeme se vyspát a si trefíme. Jo. Takže spíme. Musím najít, ještě dám nažrat psovi, jako vždycky. Pak si pacem. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Oh, 
zase na sebe. A tak dobrý, no. Dobře. Tak to stačí. Hm? A kouknu se, jestli tady ten krejčí ještě tu spála. Jo, je tady. A to nevypadá, že by byl střízlivý. Pořád na mol. No tak se koupím, co s tím máme dál dělat. Jasně. Takže ho pak budeme nutit, aby dám něco o přísách, aby už nikdy nehrál kostky, ale to bude ještě trvat. Koukám se, kde ten šarlatán teď je. Jestli to nemůžeme vyřídit. Koukám se na mapu. Tak tam teď nepojedu. Děláme, tak doratají až za chvíli a kunu si teď necháme na později. No tak já si dojdu ubejt, jsem jako prase, takže... Ten se dopotácí domů a já se mezi tím nechám pořádně ošetřit a vyprat a tak. A... Využiju ten čas. And hurry up. I've no patience for beggars. I'd like to uh, order something here. So what are you interested in? A bit of everything. Heal my wounds, have a proper bath. Oh, and my garments are in need of laundering. As you wish. Do you have the coin? Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. God be with you. Si asi Ambrose se dopotácel domů. Henry. God's blessings. Ne, tak to už se se mnou bavit nebude, protože jsem prostě okradla o ty prachy. Kdyby ho neokradla, bych ji šla ještě reportovat, co se stalo. Takže, takže teď musíme prostě čekat, to se nedá nic dělat.
Do you want me to sit there now? It's super hot. Garlic soup for the winter, onion soup for the spring, asparagus for taste, and prunes for what? No, I want some egg cravin. Tak to musu prodat. Využiju ten čas tady, no. God save you, Henry. Máme v košíku. No a pěkný vejdělek. Tím nákupem jsem moc čas neprodloužila. Se jdeme podívat, kde je. Co ten tady postává? Ten ten postává. No tak jo. God be with you, Henry. How come you are wearing such fine armor? Is there a joust happening? I'm trying to get livestock for Privis Lavis. Could you help me out? Certainly. How are the folk there getting on? Yeah, we're doing all right. Glad to hear it. There's a friend of mine there, Jonah. Do you know him? Mm, sorry, can't say I do. I don't know everyone yet. Andy fella, always making something. He's good at making baskets. Mm, sorry, I really don't know him. Ah well, it's not important. You sure don't have it easy. But then again, it'll be an adventure. I was thinking about it myself. About going there too, you know. But my place is here. Well, uh, what was it you wanted again? I want you to supply livestock for us. Right, of course. And who's going to take it there for you? Take it there. Hi. Or are you going to herd the beast there yourself? Oh, I see. Uh, I'll get someone to do it then. Fine. Then come and see me. Tak, prodáme všechno, co se nám zkazilo. Tohle ještě pro psa.
to je jenom, aby měl radost, to nemá žádný smysl, z toho žádný výdělek nebude. Vosu? Co tady dělá? Zvrací? Ambrose, you hound. What got into you yesterday? Me? Nothing. We drank a bit, all right. Quite a bit. And then I went to sleep. What? You don't remember? You got as drunk as a lord. Started shouting that you were the greatest dice master in Bohemia and that you'd show everyone. No one had the nerve to tackle you, so you insisted I had to give you a game. But you lost, and then you got really worked up and wanted to save your reputation. We ended up playing until the early hours. Damn! I don't remember a thing. Did I win? Oh, oh you did, a few times. And then you lost everything. Oh, fuck. Everything? Everything. The whole 600 groschen you had for buying cloth in Kuttenberg. Christ in heaven! Oh, God, what am I going to do now? I have to get that money back. Actually, it wasn't by chance that I ran into you. It was the Virgin Mary who sent me to you. What are you talking about? Are you trying to make a fool of me? No, no. I mean it. My friend Johanka has been visited in her dreams by Our Lady, and she's been passing her message on to the people about amending their ways and repenting for their sins, like playing games of hazard, for example. You see how easily you were tempted into wagering everything you had on dice? You're bringing misfortune down on yourself and your family. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I got carried away. But what am I to do now? Repent, and do penance for your sins. Ask God for forgiveness, and swear by the Blessed Virgin never to pick up dice again. You're right. My passion for dice has gone too far. I'll do what you say. And give me those dice, so they don't tempt you to play again. I'll throw them down a well where they can't put sinful thoughts in your head. But... Those aren't just any old dice that you can get anywhere. They bring luck. Well, mostly. Ambrose. I don't play with them much. I keep them hidden away for special occasions. Oh, all right. Here you are. Listen, Henry. The money you want from me, do you think maybe I could get it back? I've learned my lesson, I swear. But now I have to go and buy that cloth, and I can't pay for it. Now, you've seen the error of your ways. That's all I wanted. I never intended to take your money. Here, have it back. And next time, be more sensible about what you do with it. Thank you, Henry. You're an honourable man. God bless you. God be with you. Tak, toho jsme napravili. Teď ještě tady ty kosky vyřídit. You won't be hurting anyone anymore, as long as you stay there. No, máme hotovou. No, za Johanku se vydáme někdy jindy. Takže vám děkuji za sledování a přeji pěkné odpoledne.